Hey everybody, what's up? Circus here. Today I got a great video for you. We got MCS 28 champion Buns with us. Uh, Herf's over there. We're going to talk to Buns about winning the MCS with Black Wings. I was kind of shocked by that myself. I know a lot of people were. So how's it going, Buns? How you doing? Uh, hey, Circus. I'm doing great right now. Yeah, that was a wild MCS to be honest. Yeah, uh, I gotta admit, going into it, I think, uh, you know, Black Wings, we always see them in tournaments, they usually don't top, they don't finish, they don't go all the way. Uh, you, uh, before we started recording, you said that you knew they were going to do really well this MCS, why is that? Uh, mainly because I thought, like, the best two decks right now are Chris Trent and Dark Road, so I felt if I got past the Swiss randomness or whatever, it would do really well in top card and maybe get four, that's all. Okay. So I see triple Blackbird Close and one Harmatin. What are, where, why are you playing so many of cards that people don't normally run? Uh, it's again the same thing that the main issues I have is, is these two decks. So I want to maximize the card that beats them. Like, Crystons are really difficult to beat for Black Wings without opening the Blackbird Close. So I wanted to maximize my chance against them. Okay, so... And oh, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, yeah, and also the fact that back row decks aren't really an issue uh, for Black Wings aside from E-Sabers, so I didn't feel like I had to main uh, more back row hate than these two Cosmics. Like Dark Magician, you can open the Blackbird close and still beat them if you open the Simoon. Okay. That's so all. So Crystrons, that's something we, uh, it just seems like a, a deck that's been on for a very long time. We saw it win a battle phase, I don't know, when it first came out, whenever that was. That was months ago. Hasn't really done a whole lot, but now there's a lot of excitement about the deck. A lot of people are talking about that. Why is it happening now? Uh, it's mainly because of the Dark Lord nerf and, uh, and the lack of... Um... The fact Dark Lords became a lot less popular recently, and that was the deck's worst matchup. Okay. So now it has become a lot better. So with with dork dork lords, <laughs> dark lords out of the way, uh, it just leaves room for other other decks to move up. Yeah, basically that. So is this still a deck uh, where you feel like you need to go second, or are you all right with going first? Uh. Uh, it depends on the matchup. There are some matchups where I needed to go second for sure, but uh, but going first with a Blackbird close was still enough majority of the time. Okay, uh, if you like, want to explain what Blackbird close does in case there's some people that aren't as familiar with the deck, why is it so important? Uh, uh, basically, there's two reasons. One of them is the fact that it's a counter trap, so they can't really respond to it if you activate it, unlike stuff like Chalice, uh, where they can just chain other other sh uh, stuff like lands. And the other reason is the fact its effect says if you control a synchro, you can activate it from the hand, so you're safe from people using Cosmic Cyclone on it and stuff. Okay. You basically so just send the Black Wing and summon the Black Wing Dragon after the negating their effect. How useful did you find Harmatin going into the level 12? We saw it in the finals, but how useful was it in other parts of the turn? Uh, I I used it a few times. Like there, uh, like there was a time in Swiss where uh, I used it with uh, where I opened like Bora and Orochi and Whirlwind. So I would just Harmatan, uh, uh, search Harmatan, copy the Bora level to make it level 6, then special summon Orochi, and this gives me another way to make level 7. I also used it in the semis uh, uh, twice, actually, just to make the Onimaru, and I uh, used it. So I basically just made the 6k Onimaru twice against Thunder Dragons, and it won me the game. Nice. So in case you guys don't know, the MCS is what, seven rounds Swiss into a top 32. So that's quite a few matches. Um, what were some of the matches you went into and which ones had you kind of nervous? Uh, my Swiss round, uh, my first round was E-Sabers, which was kind of surprising. I didn't expect to face that deck to be so popular in the MCS, honestly, but uh, it was... Uh, after that, I got a DQ win, 
No. Uh, <laughs> we take those. We take those. Yeah, we definitely <laughs> take those. And then uh, uh, I faced Luna Light. Too easy. I, I didn't. Yeah, it is an easy matchup. But like the first game, I didn't know what what skill it was using, so I just passed, and it didn't work out well. But I won after that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. After that, I faced uh, like uh, Dark Magician Crystrons, and again faced Dark Magician Crystrons. Like it was the round four, five, six, seven. They were the same order. Uh, oh, okay. Crystrons had me kind of monk ass at first. Like I faced uh, Cray, I think, in round five, but uh, I opened really well in that matchup. And then round seven, I faced Wayne, which I rematched against in the finals. Yeah, uh, he's good at that deck. I've seen him play it quite a bit recently. He's he's probably one of the best at yeah. it. Yeah, he kind of opened bad in Swiss though, so I, I won both sets two and zero against Crystrons mainly because of that and the Blackbird close. It's really a saver versus Crystrons. Did you go uh, seven and zero in Swiss? No, I lost to the E Saber player oh, okay. in the round one. Okay. Okay. So a lot of people have gone to Harpy's Hunting Ground um, because Seal Tombs is gone, but you went to No Mortal Can Resist. Why is that? Uh, it's mainly for the Dark Lord matchup because of the fact that uh, they can easily search Lila with the charge and then they can possibly still do their plays. So I didn't feel like the Necro Valley Turbo would be that nice against it. Like No Mortal Can Resist can be more use was more useful for me. That's so. Did you yes. ever? Uh, I saw in your side deck, which I don't have on the screen right now, but in your side, you have uh, "See You Later" as a skill that you could swap out. Did you ever do that? Yeah, the, yeah. I actually used it a lot in, in a lot of matchups. Like uh, in top eight matchup, I played against Shirunui. It was like an invoked Shirunui deck. So basically, against any deck that plays Floodgate or Canaria, I would just side in See You Later, and it oh, okay. usually wins me the matchup. Against Shirunui, uh, I used it to, I, I think, dodge a chain, and then made a new Rakiri. Like, Rakiri <laughs> got negated, and then I made a new one. Okay, so I, it. I haven't really used the skill much, but basically, you can return a monster uh, from your field to your hand. It can be a face-down monster, then. Yeah. Oh, so it's right. great. They floodgate it. You're like, I'm okay with that. You bring it back, and it's it doesn't clog your field. That's great. Yeah. It's useful against the, anything that plays floodgate, and it's also useful against the Dark Magician, because no mortal can resist is useless against it, so it helps. Like, I won a game versus, versus Dark Magician of bouncing my Gale so I can get double debuff. Nice. Nice. So were you kind of... Uh... I heard, I don't know if this is true, was this your first MCS? Yeah, that was my first MCS. The first time? You, you know it's not this easy every time, right? Like, you don't just, like, enter the MCS and win it, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, no. okay. <laughs> so, going top 32, were you pretty nervous? Uh... I think I was fine. It, uh, I knew my, the, my first round is gonna be against Cyber Dragons, so that got me kind of monk s. But after that, I, I I wasn't that nervous. Okay. Uh, going into the finals, I'll face and Wayne Alpha Wayne. You guys might know him as. Um, he's a good player. Were you were you sweating going into that? I mean, there's a lot of people watching. It was like 3,400 yeah. people. There's a lot of money on the line. Yeah, but I was confident in the matchup uh, thanks to my side and stuff. So I, I, I'm only nervous when it's a bad matchup. That's all, not, not the player. Oh, okay. I, li I like that attitude. That's a good way to go into it. So are you going to enter the next one? Uh, most likely, yeah. If, uh, I usually didn't have... T uh, I'm not available during the MCS uh, time. So if oh, I'm okay. available, yeah, I can play that. Nice. So what do you see uh, with Black Wings going forward? Are they, are they going to be a more dominant deck now that, uh, like we're saying, the Dark Lords are nerfed? Do you think uh, that's going to give room for Black Wings in the future to win more tournaments? Uh, uh, I think uh, it, it really depends on the position of E-Sabers, how popular they are. Like, okay. There are, are a lot of Dark Lords, and Black Wings will always do well against that. 
the e saber matchup like you can the like in my side I sided Chalice. Chalice is uh, really good against e saber from the Blackwing side along with the see you later skill. Uh, but uh, but if there's a lot of e sabers, you're gonna need to side a lot for them. But I think the matchup is winnable now that that they don't have an easy access to Alistair. Okay. All right, so that's gonna be the toughest one, but it's it's still doable. Yeah. All right. Well, I want to say thank you for taking time to talk to us. I really do appreciate it. So, um, guys, once again, I'm Circus. That's Herf over there. We had Buns MCS 28 champ coming on the show with us. That's so exciting. I really do appreciate it. So, if you like what you saw, what do they gotta do, Herf? Like, comment, subscribe, join, and share it. There you go. We'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.